If you're anything like me, the journey to starting a new habit starts months, sometimes even years before you put it into motion. My meditation story does not start 30 days ago. It starts over 30 years ago, back when I was a kid and I could not fall asleep. My parents gave me this relaxation tape from a personal development group that they were a part of, which ended up being a cult. You know, there's a pretty thin line between personal development and cult. My mom would put the relaxation tape on when I went to sleep at night. And it would start off with relaxing your head, working your way into your forehead and releasing all the tensions. Just relax, relax, relax. And by the time I was about midway down my body, I was fast asleep. I hardly ever made it down to the part where I was wiggling my toes. Do you know what happens when a cassette tape ends? Over the years, like many people, I would practice aspects of mindfulness and sometimes meditation. I would do breath work, I would have mindful minutes, but I could never really get into an actual meditation practice. I even taught mindfulness in journaling workshops and within my coaching practice, but I had a really hard time actually sticking to a practice myself. Sure, I could find a minute in the day to practice mindfulness, or 10 minutes here and there to actually do a meditation. I knew what all the benefits were, but I still couldn't figure out how to commit to my own practice. In 2019, I went to a book exchange where I picked up this book, Eight Minute Meditation. It's a guide for meditating one minute at a time until you work your way up to eight minutes. It wasn't until I was pretty stressed out in my life that I remembered reading this book and I decided to actually go for it and figure out a meditation practice that I could stick with. I started off doing loving kindness as a part of a walking meditation when I was walking my dog in the morning. I picked three traits that I wanted to focus on for myself during the loving kindness meditation. And then I would focus on another person that I was giving loving kindness to, which is the practice as I understand it. I found it really interesting that the image of someone I wanted to give kindness to over and over and over again kept coming up as the bag boy at my local grocery store. I'm still not really sure what that's all about but he's been given a lot of loving kindness. A Harvard study found increased gray matter density in the hippocampus known to be important for learning and memory and in structures associated with self-awareness, compassion, and introspection in people who practiced meditation on average 27 minutes a day. So I knew that I wanted to aim for about 30 minutes of dedicated meditation for my meditation practice. So I decided to pick a specific meditation technique. The one that I chose is called the hear, see, and feel technique. This really worked for me because it gave me something to focus on just besides my breath. The meditation myth that I wanna bust is that the purpose of meditation is to clear your head. Asking the mind to stop thinking is like asking the heart to stop beating. It's just not possible. Using the hear, see, and feel technique, I would find a comfortable place to sit, normally in my office chair with my legs crossed, I'd set my timer for 30 minutes and instead of trying to clear your mind or let go of thoughts, you notice what comes up for you. I like this technique because I actually felt like it gave me something to do while I was meditating, labeling what I was noticing or actually trying to shift my mind between what I was hearing, what I was seeing and what I was feeling. And on days when I just knew that that technique wasn't going to work for me because I was experiencing extra stress or anxiety, I would put headphones on and listen to binaural beats. If you decide to meditate in the morning or in the evening, I think it's really a personal preference and what works best for your day. Kobe Bryant says, I meditate every day. It's like having an anchor. If I don't do it, I feel like I'm constantly chasing the day as opposed to being in control and dictating my day. I have a calmness about whatever comes my way, a poise that comes from starting my morning off with meditation. I, unlike Kobe, am not a morning person, so I generally meditate in the evening or later on in the day, but do what works best for you. I don't think gray matter has a preference about when you meditate, it just wants you to meditate. The greatest benefit I noticed from meditating 30 minutes a day for 30 days was the impact it had on my creativity. Eva Mendez says, it helps creativity on a level that I can't describe. I can give you a list of things I think it does, but it's tapping into something so deep that when I reap the reward, I don't even know I'm reaping them. It's more of an overall kind of thing. 
that really resonates with me. I found myself just being so much more creative, maybe because of the decrease in stress, maybe because of the concentration, but it was like I was really able to tap into something. I noticed when I got to about 20 minutes of meditation, that was when the creativity really started to come out. That last 10 minutes, if I could really like sink myself into the meditation, I don't know how else to describe it. It's this feeling that just washes over me where I feel like I'm now just, if you've ever exercised and got a runner's high, it's kind of what the feeling is like, like this wave just hits you. And then that's where the creativity really starts. And I have these kind of like creative notions that begin to boil up. That was the sweet spot for me. Will I keep doing 30 minutes a day of meditation? No, probably not. I consider meditation to be a lot like exercise. Sometimes you do a lot, sometimes you do very little. There are some days where you do absolutely none at all. But bringing it into a practice where I'm integrating it into my life has got to be better than not doing it at all in the long run. So the question I have for you is, do you meditate? And if not, what are you waiting for?